experience and answering all your questions and giving you all the answers on the tea that I was looking for before I went to get a wax for spring break so my first time that I went was for spring break so I gotta like think about it I actually recorded myself going through the experience so if you guys want to see that video comment down below and I'll be sure to upload it so you can actually see like real time my reactions so yeah, comment down below. So um, let's get into the video. So the reason that I went to get waxed was obviously because I was going to Miami for my birthday and for spring break and I was like, I'm turning 21, I'm a new woman, you know, I'm grown. <laughs> I need to look smooth, trying to find a new boo in Miami, look cute in my pictures. And I was like, I'm going to get waxed and I've been watching a lot of videos beforehand before I even decided to go and get it. And I know a couple of people who have done it already and they said it was like life changing and they really like it and they like the effects and how long it lasts. And I enjoy things that last a long time because I feel like I did not waste my time doing it. And um, I also like like so like waxing it's supposed to like get rid of darkness it's supposed to give you less like ingrown hairs and all this stuff and all the hair is pro 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 check 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 that's everything I want last a long time check get rid of darkness check no ingrown hairs check okay so that's why I went and decided to go and experience this I got my wax done here at Brazil's Waxing Center, and I got it done by Jennifer. So if you guys want to go there, you know, request Jennifer, give them my name, Erica Davis, Erica Davis, and I can give you guys, I can give you guys this. So like, if you guys go and you tell them my name, you guys will receive 25% off of your service. So go there and tell them, and that's how you get a discount. You see 25% off, and you'll save your coins. Um, I would definitely recommend Brazil's, and I would definitely recommend my waxing specialist, Jennifer. She was really great and kind. She talked to me through the whole thing. As I said, I can upload the video for you guys to see. Um, well, you guys can't see her, but you guys will be able to like hear her talking to me. She's really cool. She knew what she was doing. She was very experienced. Well, seemed very experienced to me. Um, it was very clean. The process was very like smooth sailing. So normally this wax would cost about $45. And I use someone else's code whose video I watched beforehand. That's why I, got, that's why I gave you guys my code, because I know, because I use someone else's code. You know, we're all college students struggling in these streets. So I gave them her name and I got 25% off. So I didn't have to pay 45. I paid 25% off of 45. I can't do math right now. I can't do math ever. So you guys can do that math. So I went to get my wax. Um, I want to say, less than a week before spring break so about like four or three days before i left for spring break because i wanted to be like fresh no hair grow back or nothing um now that i've been through that i know that you can get it even before then because even that week there was no like new hair nothing but first you're gonna feel like a little bit awkward a little bit like offset off put like oh my god no one's ever seen me down there especially not a girl like when's the last time my mama even saw me down there you know and then they're just kind of like put on this thing take off your pants lay down on this chair and bust it open for this lady that you don't know and it's really weird i personally the reason I was talking to Jennifer so much is because I felt like it did make me feel more comfortable and the reason I vlogged is because I felt like that also made me feel more comfortable. Like, I don't know why, because I, maybe because I was like less focused. So it was kind of like I was uncomfortable 
plus I was scared of the pain and personally I feel like now that I know that's like nothing to be afraid of honestly because it really wasn't that uncomfortable and it really didn't hurt that much now looking back on it so at Brazil's they use hard wax which is what I really wanted so I was hoping that they use hard wax because I've seen it like on Twitter and stuff and on YouTube everywhere and the hard wax is like you warm it up and you put it on and they don't use like papers to rip it off like on your eyebrows they use their hands and they wait till it cools and it gets hard and then they just like grab it pull it up and just rip like and um so that i was low-key excited to have the hard wax because i've seen it everywhere so it was pretty cool <laughs> and the reason that they use hard wax instead of like soft wax and like that the paper wax is because with the hard wax it doesn't grab onto your skin and so it's supposed to have like less pain it's only grabbing onto your hair to pull the hairs out of like the little follicles little holes and so the hard wax only grabs the hair and I feel like it did have less pain because honestly the way my eyebrows are set up I moved to threading from waxing because waxing hurt but threading still hurts but mm. so after she waxed me she used like this aloe vera oil to like calm your skin down um so like the worst parts of the wax is like the first one that they do, because you never, the first one that you do is not that bad because you don't really know what to expect, so you're just like, <gasps> and then it's like, a, but the second one kind of hurts a little bit, but then after that, it's like fine, you know, like on the top, but then like the worst part is like the bottom, like the lips, because they do it so quickly, and I think they do it quickly because they think it'll make it hurt less, but I feel like it made it hurt more low key and they like do more um tries down there and on the top i don't know why i think on the top they just do like one big one and then like down there they do like multiple smaller ones and they do it like a couple of times and then the least painful part is like your butt and like the middle of the top if you know what i mean and after they're done with the hard wax, she, and before they put the oil on, she goes in with tweezers and she's like, this, she's like, and she picks every little hair that she misses and she takes like a mirror and she picks every single one. She's so close, making sure that you look perfect and the hair is gone. And you're like, wow, she really cares about me and how I look. But then you're like, wow, she is so inside of me. That is so crazy. Um, in the videos that I watched, it was recommended to wear like dresses or leggings and stuff, but I don't own leggings. And it was a really windy day, and so and it was kind of cold a little bit, so I didn't want to wear a dress. So I wore jeans. I people say not to wear jeans because they feel like you might be like a little bit sore afterwards. I was fine afterwards putting my jeans back on. I was fine. So I feel like you guys might be fine but i can't speak for everybody i would say that my wax lasted about me personally she told me that people usually come in every four weeks but because i was taking biotin i probably have to come in every three weeks but i think that that is uh that is like too short for for me personally maybe your guys hair grows faster you know i don't know you guys in your business but i really think that my hair didn't start growing back, like, like growing back, period. Like there was nothing until probably a month later, like a month and a half. And like, that's not enough because to be able to get a wax, okay, guys, to be able to go and get a wax, your hair needs to be like, she told me that your hair needs to be like two weeks of no shaving. So the last time that she shaved this to be two weeks ago. Um, and then after you get your first one, apparently that time shortens. I'm not sure how true that is, but I know that to get the first one, you need to have at least two weeks worth of hair growth. My hair after I got the wax did not start growing back until about six weeks later. Mine lasted a really long time. Um, I don't know how long 
Instagram, your guys' hair takes to grow. But I don't know, I thought maybe like my my, my thing was in like recovery. Like it was like, girl, what did you do to me? And then it just was never gonna grow back. Because I was like, well, what the heck? Not that I have a problem with that. If it just had never to grow back, I'd be perfectly fine, honestly. But yeah, I think it took about six weeks to start growing. And that's just to start growing. Not like, I already have hair there. Just to like start seeing like, oh, it's out of recovery now, okay. Okay, so after my wax was completely done, I went to the front to check out and they were telling me about the products that they sell and they have like these soaps and these exfoliators and stuff and I bought it because I knew it was my first time there so I didn't want to like, I wanted to try them out to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything. So I got the three bundle, I think there's four things, but I only got three. And I'll show you guys. Yeah, there's four things. There's a cleanse, prevent, repair, and moisturize. And I only got the first three, the cleanse, prevent, and repair. So the first thing is the cleanse, and it's an organic African black soap with shea butter in it. And what that's supposed to do is to be a gentle but effective cleanser with natural oils to leave the skin fresh. And because it has African black soap in it it's supposed to help like darkness and stuff and to help you just look nice and smooth and fresh you can use it on your underarms if you have like dark underarms you could also use it on your underarms to help them become like lighter eventually um also i got the prevent and prevent is the step number two and it is an exfoliant you're not supposed to use this exfoliant until 48 hours after your wax so this exfoliant Apply it after your shower, after you dry it off, and then you put it on there and you leave it on for two minutes and then you rinse it off. It's glycolic acid. Um, but she says if you, because she, she said that some people, um, they feel like a little bit of like stinging because it's an exfoliant, but she said the longer you can leave it on, the longer you leave it on, the better. So like if you can deal with it, then that's fine. You don't have to rinse it off. And then the third thing that I got, the third thing that I got is the Repair Soothing Serum. Because you know, you just ripped all the hair out of your body. And so this is to like soothe your skin and to make it like less irritated and to like repair the little, you know, like you're basically, you basically, because you know, you basically just tore your whole thing open all the little parts and stuff, all the hairs, it needs to recuperate. So that's what that for, that's for. So these, I'm not gonna lie to you, these were expensive-ish, expensive-ish. It was like $40 all together, plus the wax. But remember I had a discount on the wax, use my code, Eric Davis. Um, so yeah, these I would say, you could now, after I've got it, I'm gonna say you could do without it, but I've never had a wax where I haven't used them since they're still here and I still have them, so I don't know how, I have nothing to compare it to, like not using it compared to using it. So, but as for right now, I could say that you could do without it and just have like, if I have an exfoliating brush and I use that, and you know, as I said, I already had alcoholic acid in my, if you watched my skincare video. So I really could have used use that. Um, yeah. So yeah, you guys can skip out on this. It was like just a step that I was just making sure I didn't miss. So, all in all, I would say that my waxing experience was a 10 out of 10 with Jennifer at Brazil's Waxing Center. It was recommended to me by multiple people. I went and now I'm recommending it to you guys. I do love going to Brazil's Waxing Center here in Tallahassee. I did love the experience that I had there and with my waxing specialist. And personally, I would get a wax again. And if I could do waxing instead of shaving for the rest of my life, I would do it, you know, besides like lasering. If it was like the option shaving and waxing, I would definitely do waxing all the time. 
if it was free all the time. You know, if you have the money to do it, I would recommend doing it. Um, yeah, if you guys have ever gone to the Zone Blacksmith Center or if you guys are going to go after seeing this, comment down below. And if you guys have any questions that I did not answer in this video, please comment them down below and I will get to answering them immediately. I promise, I promise, I promise. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any suggestions or any video, videos that you want me to do, comment them down below. Give this video a thumbs up for me sharing this experience with you guys. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>